Today I decided to discuss Imam Mahdi uh, because what I noticed is that there is a lot of misconceptions about the Mahdi. So I decided to clear them up so people can know what the truth is behind the Mahdi. First thing, the Mahdi is an Imam and therefore he is a descendant of the Prophet Ibrahim. Second thing, the only people in the world who can be Imams are descendants of the Prophet Ibrahim. Uh, you can find this in the Quran at, ayat, or at Surah 2, Ayat 124. It will tell you that the only people who can be Imams are descendants of Ibrahim who are uh, righteous people, believers, so on and so forth. But if you're not a believer, then you cannot be an imam. So even if you are a descendant of Ibrahim. So with that being said, the Mahdi is a descendant of Ibrahim because he has the title imam and he's a believer. Uh, again, I just wanted to clarify the basic qualification of who this Mahdi person is that people are talking about. Uh, he is a descendant of Ibrahim. And he is a believer. This is the only way he can get the title Imam. Right? Uh, the reason why this title Imam is so important is because on the day of reckoning. We will be brought forth to Allah. By our Imams. The Imams that led us. So in certain uh scenarios uh all of the descendants of ibrahim who are imams will be held accountable for the people that they led in the world and this is why only descendants of ibrahim can be imams so if, again if you want to verify that you have to go to the quran and you have to look at surah 2 ayah 124 uh, so this is in the Quran. This is not something that, you know, somebody just said, you know, this is not coming from an external source. This is coming from the Quran itself. And with that being said, that will help you understand, uh, who cannot, uh, be an imam and who can be an imam. So, uh, don't be confused. All imams are related to Ibrahim, period. It's not debatable. It's not, uh... You know, a discussion, it's not a question, it's a fact. This is the only way you can be an imam, period. And Allah made it like that because he established a kingdom and this is part of the situation that goes into all that. So so I'm not going to go there, but uh, obviously... Uh, Ibrahim has a lot to do with all these things. So so with that being said, there you have it. This clarifies who can be the Mahdi, who is the Mahdi, what is the Mahdi. And the fact of the matter is, is the Mahdi is a descendant of Ibrahim who believes in, a, in, Ma, in Allah. And that is how he got the title Imam. Thank you.